Welcome back to another FIFA 23 content review on the channel. I'm Slater. In today's video, not only will we review the brand new Footy Shakiri SVC, but I will complete and open the brand new 93 plus Shapeshifters player pick. If you remember, this used to contain not only SS cards, but also TOTS cards. Now it is just SS cards. We'll complete this SBC, tell you whether it's good or bad value. I'll show it. We'll start with this bad boy on the channel, and then we'll jump into Shakiri. I'll also um, parse out the video via chapter. So if you want to just fast forward to the Shakiri review, you can do that right now. Or if you want to watch me rip this 93 plus Shea Shifters player pick, you can watch that too. If you enjoyed this type of stuff, hit that like button. Sub if you're new. I think we're nine subs away from 1,400. We hit 1,300 a week ago, which is insane. Um, so we're absolutely scooting right now on the channel. I appreciate all the support. Glad you guys are enjoying the content reviews. Let's keep moving. So here we go. 93 plus Shea Shifters player pick. Like I said, now no tots can be a really good thing. You know, you got to think of like Paul Pogba. I'm trying to remember. I was like sitting here. I was like, who are the great Shea Shifters? I, I feel like that promo for some reason seems so long ago. But I can't even think of like who are some of the best cards you can get from this. It is repeatable once over the next three days and then it will reset and you can do it again over the next three days of the lifespan of the SPC. I love that it's 93 plus, right? It does not include shapeshifter icons. That's important to note. Internally, it's an 84 overall team, an 86 overall team, and an 88 overall team. Now, great, it's not that bad because those are all very attainable squads to get. The one thing I will tell you is at this point in the game, you do get to the point in FIFA where like just having players in your club of mid-tier fodder level becomes incredibly valuable. Just having them around. So, Putting 33 players into this, I will say, is a big ask because it basically handy, like handcuffs you from doing other SBCs along the way. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be 237,000 coins. It's got a big down vote, 28%, 72%. I don't think it's like actually priced that horribly, but I do think it's it's asking too many players back. I would actually prefer this to be like an 88 and 87 versus an 88 and 86 and 84. So let's dive into this thing, rip this bad boy for you. I also pre-crafted it so that we don't have to sit and watch me build an SBC because who the heck wants to see that? Um, so here we go, man. This is my 93 plus Shapeshifters player pick. If you open this, let me know in the comments below who you got as your best player. Once again, I really want Pogba. I'm a big event supporter, so that would be my number one choice. I cannot remember any cards that came out during this promo, so I really don't even know who we might get right here. Let's freaking see. Oh, I think that Klosterman might be considered somewhat of a W. I don't know, though. Does that is that even a W? Let me see. Oh, yeah, Klosterman's a W. He's double the price of the SBC. What about Kyle Walker, who's just kind of a cool guy anyways? Walker went through. So for me, actually, I low-key, even though the rest of them were not of the caliber, Klosterman, which I didn't really... I was like, he might be really expensive because he's a great center back. You just have to move him there in-game. That is technically a W for me in terms of the price value. But once again, I, I just don't know how much people care about getting like one really crazy card anymore. I think you just want to have, I would tell people that to not do it personally. Um, I would, I would prefer just having all that fodder back in my club right now than I would having a classroom. That's how I think but that's up to you in terms of how you want to complete that. Then let's dive into Jordan Shakiri, who is a footies premium chemistry card. Thank goodness because he's an MLS player, right? Five, five, five foot seven, High medium work rates. I like what I see. I see 99 dribbling. Let's go see if this is the, as good of a card as it might perceive to be um, on the face. 5-7 and 5-star, five 5-star five seems already super fun. Cam, right mid, right wing. I like the versatility on the card too. Internally, 99 shot power is really nice. That actually overcompensates that finishing stat. So that is a big W there. Uh, passing stats are pretty good. 94 vision, 90 short pass, 90 long pass. Could be a little bit better, especially for a guy that I think you would want to play as a cam or as a winger um, or a wide cam, per se. I think you'd want the passing to be a little bit better. Good pace splits for the most part. Not super rapid, but we could work on those two. Crazy dribbling, 99 composure, 99 dribbling, 99 ball control, 98 reactions, 99 balance, and 95 agility. With 90 stamina. Oh, that's a sweet card, man. If he's not super expensive, that'd be a really fun card to put into a team. Finesse, flare, outside the foot shot trade, and flare passes trade as well. Seems like a very fun card. I'm also, I live in Chicago. Uh, so shout out to the Chicago Fire. Um, so there you go. I got a little like hometown um, hero here as an SBC too. I like this a lot. I'm assuming it, based on Cole Mawani being an 85 in a team of the week, my guess is because he's premium 5-5, that he'll be an 86 overall team. That's my guess. You know, you just, you play enough FIFA. 86 overall, team of the week, team of the season. 
you know, if Colo is 66K, let's go jump over on Flippin and figure out what uh, Jordan Shakiri comes in at. 80K, I mean, that seems so fair. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, what a chill SBC. 500 plus upvotes, 80 downvotes. Yeah, Shakiri's a freaking baller historically in FIFA. Um, I would probably, I would probably put a Hunter on him. I would also look at a Hawk. I actually think both are really interesting. Um, if you put a Hawk on him, you're not going to get any of the bonus of the shot power boost, but you get him up to 90 aggression, which would be really nice for his card alongside 94 strength with the great um, rapid uh, pace and then 96 positioning and 90 finishing. And then once again, 99 shot power with 90 finishing will feel like a lot better than 90 finishing. Um, and then if you put a Hunter on him, perfect pace splits, uh, 96 uh, positioning, 94 finishing. So we get a plus four boost in finishing. We get a boost over here, but we don't get any boost. I think like for me as a cam, I don't know if I necessarily need him to have 90 aggression. I feel like that is more for me a striker related thing. Like I think 82 aggression is really good for a cam personally. I would put a hunter on him. I think that I could see a hawk being the other one that I think people want to get into. I would put a hunter on him. And I think that that is an absolutely brilliant card. He ships as a 96 rated cam. He has, let me see. Does it say his body type anywhere? Am I missing it? No, it doesn't. Body type is just Shakiri. Wait, what? I thought that there's like unique. Body type is just Shakiri? That's, you gotta do that. He is, hold on a second. Does any, like, does Messi have that? Is Messi just Messi? I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. Like, is Messi just Messi? Oh, he is. Okay, so, cer so certain guys are just like, they're just them. That's kind of sweet. Shakiri's like a unicorn card, dude. He's like freaking, he's a one of one. There's no one like a Jordan Shakiri. That is sweet. That is, I think, another added bonus. Assuming that a Shakiri body type is a good thing, that is another added bonus to be pro Shakiri SBC. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of the SBC. Love the high medium. Love the five foot seven. Love the five five. Um, I mean, compared to his last card, it's it's a night and day difference. Yeah, W. I'm a fan. Get involved. Get it done. Team of the week, team of the season, easy peasy. And if you're like, I don't have a team of the week or a team of the season, dude, every single day they drop the team of the week SBC. Take a swing at it. It's an 81 overall team. And once again, dude, this is why I think at this point in the year, I would not do that 90 plus shapeshifters player pick is because Jordan Shakiri probably has stats and he gets full chem better than a lot of the cards you would get back from that SBC. And he's, he's the cost of one of the three segments. And it's the middle tier, right? So once again, showing you, I don't think that player pick is worth it. I think this definitely is. I love that SBC. I'm going to assume we don't have any new objective content. Let's just go double check to make sure so I don't look like an idiot and post this video and be like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Hey, man, I'm glad that I'm checking all the boxes. Uh, Ferrari with 99 pace. Almost seems too fitting, doesn't it? Score six goals using a player with 80 pace. Um, in rival squad battles for foot champs. Uh, assist with th uh, four through balls. Um, score in four separate matches while having four defenders, easy, and then win six matches with Italian players, easy. So if you want this card, you can get him very quickly. He's a premium footy card as well, so he will once again get auto full chem. He does have 99 pace. What I will say is, although that's very cool, like I think it's pop slot on the screen, a lot of center backs now have just absolutely rapid pace that I don't know how different a 99 pace center back would feel than like St. Juice, who's like a 95 pace center back. He's left footed, four star weak foot, medium, medium. Not bad, right? 6'2 is a good height. Medium medium is fine. Would prefer medium high, but not a big deal. Four-star weak foot is nice too uh, for a left footed center back. Um, dribbling sets are okay. They're like decent. There are a lot of center backs that have better now because so many cards are so juiced. Defending and physical sets are relatively low. I would say like don't let the 99 pace like completely alter your perception. There are like, I once again, I would have St. Juice over this guy. I think St. Juice probably is way better defending and physical stats. Granted, you can just throw a Sentinel on him and boost the defending and physical. He's got the rapid pace. I'm just going to assume that there are other cards that are better. But for a free card on full chemistry at 99 pace, that is a W2. I like it. Good content today, man. Shout out to EA. I think it's um it's all really fun and interesting and, and good content. So that should be everything. If you enjoyed the video, man, hit that like button. Sub to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, back again with other these videos tomorrow and all summer long and all EAFC long. If you like content reviews, this is the place to be. Thanks for watching. Peace.